Parker. Hi, this is uh, Andy, uh, my art tutorial, and we've got a special, very special guest, Cohen Timmers from Belgium, which is lovely because we're all yeah. from every show I do. I had someone in America, someone in England. Um, what's the weather like right there? Is it is it warm? Uh, not really, no. Uh, it's not rainy, it's something in between. <laughs> Wonderful. And I know that your charity work with um, uh, refugee children, which is totally mm -hmm. awesome, that is in Africa and that is your passion. Am I correct? That is yeah. your, that's the thing that that's got the correct, whole yeah. ball rolling. Is that correct? Yeah, that is true. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about that. Yeah, so we started in 2015, uh, 2015 in Kenya in a refugee camp called Kakuma. And um, we noticed that um, it would be great connecting students in that refugee camp um, with other students globally. Yeah. And um, so we came up with the idea of, of having Skype calls between the refugees and, and teachers, teaching them English and, and uh, science, etc. Um, and so what we did is, is we shipped a laptop to the refugee camp and we fixed the internet connection and we started to teach them basically. And they were quite happy with that. And what we did is expand the network so because other teachers wanted to do the same they wanted to join the project as well and what we noticed is that all of a sudden in a few years we had like five, 500 teachers offering them free education um and 500 everybody loves <laughs> 500 yeah wow. and everybody loves the idea of giving free education offering free education to refugees yeah what what i also a lot about the project myself is that we fight polarization because this connects students from across the world with refugees and the, the, the students get a, a fair perspective into their lives basically yeah. and that is, is so powerful um getting to know each other having fun speaking about culture um and, and hobbies etc and basically creating global citizens uh, yeah. yeah um and i've uh, been a bit naughty i videoed took some video clips which i think this really out of and you've got a lot of uh footage this really sums it up for me that vibe yeah. everyone's having a good time um smiling um and how do the kids take to the technology? Uh, is it very, it must be very quick compared to someone my age who takes forever. Well, um, we've been working on this, this project for four years. And this year in February, I went to the camp for the very first time wow. uh, together with the, the UN and with uh, Maggie from uh, yeah, the city in, in Belgium as well. And we built our own school over there. Uh, a Maggie shelter do actually and that was the fir very first time I met the refugees I had been working with for a few years and it was interesting to see that when you only had conversations on the internet and saw videos and, and pictures it's still a bit different you know yeah. when you're there and having those conversations uh, at the ground on the ground and we noticed that um, the conditions of the schools are, are harsh. Um, yeah. For instance, it takes like $30 to go to secondary school and to many refugees, that's simply too much, you know? Uh, most of them never saw a laptop in their lives. Um, some teachers didn't, haven't been using a, a technology as well. And yet, 75% of, of all refugees have a cell phone, have a smartphone, yeah, and are connected with 4G. So it's complicated, basically. Um, once we we went to that to the, to the refugee camp, we planned to set up coding lessons. But once we were there, it felt like teacher training and having those Skype interactions makes more sense in this stage. 
and it would be my dream being able to shift to coding classes and then teaching students how to create wonderful things as you, as you are doing right now <laughs> um, that would be a dream but it will be a fu future dream I would say well nothing seems to be stopping you I must say I was so amazed by your CV. I don't even know you call it that. It's your um, passion and you're using all the technology because you are a uh, computer science, originally a, a, mm -hmm. an educator in that. You've yeah. just taken it to such a, an extraordinary level. Can I just uh, share with you how far you've, you've come with things like um, you, you hang out with all these um, celebrity activists. I, I just love this. Um, and you've also got your climate change um, project as well. What's, tell me a little bit about that as well. Yeah, so a wonderful picture, isn't it? Indeed. <laughs> <laughs> so I was most, most very lucky to be part of the Global Teacher Prize and that hooked me up with some celebrities and instead of asking them just having a picture with them I asked them for a business card because I noticed that it is important to have press on your side to have those celebrities at your side and that was one of the ways to bring the, the project to the next stage and we all know that there are issues with climate and I don't think we are dealing with those issues in, in the classrooms in the right way. Yeah. I don't think that asking students to memorize a definition about climate change is not the best way to go. And those strikes give a very important signal to governments, but I wanted to make sure that teachers know how to teach about climate change and yeah. environmental issues, basically. And so we, we came up with the Climate Action Project. And at first we had like 10 schools, 50 schools, and we are doing this, launching this every year in October for six weeks. And this year we will have like one to 10 million participants because this year we, we started to work with governments, Ministry of Education in 15 different countries and a lot of organizations but also with uh, WWF, um, the UN, and uh, NASA. And during our chat with two wonderful gents at the NASA headquarter, and they are the ones in charge for the Mars, Mars missions, um, yeah. they told us like, how would you feel about this year sending the student solutions to Mars? And we were like, okay then. <laughs> I so love that, that is what we are, are going to do this year and I'm really, uh, really, really happy about this because this is a wonderful opportunity for our students and that is basically what this is all about, you know, offering students a lot of great opportunities, a different way to learn about climate and in the end we manage to change their behavior and that that is basically what we really want, I, I would say. Um, not memorizing stuff, but really knowing what this is about. But also having fun, basically. Having engaging um, opportunities for them, being able to connect with students in, in South Africa, and New Zealand, Canada, etc. Um, and ending up with having friends in all of those uh, continents. This year, it looks like we even will be having a school in, in Antarctica and we will have be having an interaction with astronauts in space. So it looks like we have the globe covered, right? Wow. Yes, and you, you certainly have. And you've got a, another very special uh, activist friend, Dr. Jane Goodall, and she's involved yeah. in another project um it's innovation it's in tanzania can you tell us a little bit about that is, yeah. um in the meantime yeah. i need to also start designing because this is an art tutorial your um uh climate change logo is that correct is that something you would yeah. like me to do that and then be great. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so let's um i've got i've got the this first drawing and i'm kind of what we call facilitating everything that you're saying so 
I've got the computer, I've got your, is that correct? That is your logo, this one um, with, in the blue on the computer. Is that the logo? It is, you, yeah. yeah. But you say you, yeah, you're looking for something now that is going to be more um, slightly different. What, what would you like for your climate action, um, climate change? Design. Well, you're the expert. <laughs> <laughs> That's <Something> true. Fresh. <laughs> um, <laughs> the interesting part about the logo is that um, it's this project is all about surprises, basically. And there was one teacher in um, Portugal, Manuela. She sent me a picture, and they made like a drawing, a, a, a mural on their school. So the logo is at their school forever um, and keeps reminding the students about this project. So don't change it too much because well, that's, <laughs> you're yes. going to be depressed. <laughs> so what I probably should do here is we, we de definitely do not want to ruin the logo because I, I personally, I think it's stunning. But I, I know that you've got this sort of quality uh, that we can stick with in the drawing style. And what I mean by that is, uh, let's imagine I'm going to color this in, and then you've got this uh, lovely gray uh, underneath. Wow, I already like it. Yeah. <laughs> so I think you wanted to, um, we did luckily have a chat um, with a few WhatsApps uh, about the good and the bad side of climate. So we could design a really snazzy uh, image where we've got the sort of the chimneys with the smoke um, and mm -hmm. I'll just remove that I'm gonna stick with the uh, just the white so we've got the chimneys and well we'll color those in uh, but we also want to do something probably to do with uh, the trees, because you had that amazing tree initiative. Uh, mm -hmm. So I'm just going to throw this out at you. So we've got a child's hand and a tree. Um, so we could play on the fact that this one here looks a little bit like a chimney. <laughs> mm -hmm. And, and play around with that, with uh, images of children and education and computers. So we could have all those little images maybe around the globe, sort of mix it up. Yeah. How do you feel about that? So I'm going to... That would be wonderful, yeah. <laughs> so yes, so, so uh, I will literally facilitate what you're saying and then I can cut and paste and move things around and we, we should have a really great promotional maybe call it a poster rather than a logo how's that so sorry yeah. i interrupted you you were talking about the kids and the initiatives and you've got uh it's spread over is it six continents six, yes yeah, seven continents seven so. sorry seven all of them yeah um the great thing is is that teachers keep sending messages about their initiatives and, and what their students have been doing. And it's just, I was so overwhelmed last year. Um, like for instance, Andrews from Malawi, he started to plant trees. I met him in Dubai and he told me like, you know, we started to plant 60 million trees. And I was like, what? That much? With the, the support of the president and organization, which is keeping track of the trees by developing an app, et cetera, et cetera. And, and yeah, um, we had Christine, um, she 3D printed coral reefs in Canada. We had Kate in Ireland and they invited the, the Minister of Environment to the classroom. And they even were able to bring national change with the Green Dot movement and, you know, we are talking about students aged 6 to 18, students in America who developed their own uh, solar suitcase, um, which was shipped to Africa, where it now serves a school offering free electricity. So 
it's just like kids, the, the learners and the teachers, they are making this project a huge success. And yeah. it doesn't have to be super fancy. It's also about good ideas, like Oliver in, in Belgium, he invited the, the parents to the classroom. So the students were able to explain what they are doing and bring change at home as well. And that's basically the, the idea that we are bring, bringing change outside the classroom walls as well. Yeah, and okay. um, we, we thought that the tree planting was just genius. And so Alex in Australia and I, and I came up with an idea to just launch a global tree planting initiative. Yeah. We called it Plant Ad, Ad for Education. And during two single weeks, we planted one and a 1.1 million trees. And now we already know that in the Philippines, they are going to plant one million trees during one single day. Mm -hmm. I didn't know this, this, but in the Philippines, there's a law that every student who graduates has to plant 10 trees. That's just by law. They have to do that. And that's just so interesting to get to know those facts. I think uh, it's, it's learning more about the world I uh, love that. Instead of using, yeah. I'm just going to do a, a, the law. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I'm taking notes. Can you see what I'm doing, which is kind of fun? I, and uh, I, and then I'll polish it up. I, and it's all happening beautifully. I don't want to interrupt you because you are doing a fantastic job. So you were saying they've got to, by law, they have to plant how many trees? Ten trees. Ten. Yeah. Ten yeah. trees, love that. I love that rule. Um, and uh, wow, and so the tree planting, the, the ideas. Um, oh, I must put a computer in there. Hold on. Um, and we want on that computer um, coding. I think that's a really big part, if you don't mind me. Um, the impression I got from all your coverage was mm -hmm. how important it is for kids to learn to think and coding does that. Can you tell us lots about that? I know that's your passion and that's what yeah. kicked the whole thing off. It is my passion, but at the, at the same time, we have to realize that not every child uh, who's in this project has access to technology. But we try to do our best. And what happened during the past years is that students created their own world in Minecraft. And the interesting part is that they created an eco-friendly world in 50 different countries. So at every during every moment of the day, every single moment of the day, somebody was creating something in that world, which could be solar panels or, or a hyperloop or some new inventions. Um, we also had students in Tunisia, they created their own video game. And the interesting part about technology is that it got a real upgrade during Corona. Um, yeah. It was more like an option. I think teachers trying to find ways to make learning more interesting or more impactful or authentic, uh, more collaborative. But all of a sudden, during COVID-19, teachers had to shift to technology. And I tried to explain to those teachers how to do that properly, because the right way to, do, to teach with technology is focusing on the right pedagogy as well. Um, and that is something what is forgotten sometimes. And this is also part of the Climate Action Project that we try to explain how you can use technology so that you not only um, try to do something what's really good for your marketing of your school, like using tablets to replace a, a, a textbook, but that you can actually transform the way you teach. And the great thing about technology is that it allows to connect students globally yeah. And that is, I think that is really key. That is basically the essence of the project. It always connects, it's always globally. For me, there are even no, no, no borders at all. Um, 
and it gives you a better understanding about different cultures which gave you just a flight of a flight one hundred dollars you can travel to other parts of the world and you may not know anything about that culture but with technology you can do the same for free yeah um, and i think that has to be a crucial part of education as well okay yeah. and i i love that for free uh element um it's so important uh, kind of free <laughs> yeah um but i also saw somewhere that all you needed is one computer one access to the internet and you can um, supply so much uh, help to, especially the, the refugees, that, that whole, um, those kids that need all our help, it has to be free and it has to stay available. And, it, and it's just uh, wonderful that we're living in a time where we've never had it so good where it's, it's available. So you're running with that and and can you tell me a little bit about your experiences with the UNESCO um, traveling? You went to Moscow. I think you said, I read somewhere you, you did a presentation in Russian. Is that correct? <laughs> uh, uh, <not> a... <laughs> no, I spoke at Atrunch in, uh, in Moscow. All right. I totally <laughs> loved that experience. Um, really loved that country. Um, and the weird thing is that when I spoke in Beijing and I worked with students, uh, I, I always had the impression that I still was in Moscow. I don't know why, because those are completely different countries. Um, but I really loved being in those countries, speaking with the students and the teachers, um, and noticing that in the end you're all basically the same um, trying to, to do your best uh, in the classroom trying to use technology at your capacity basically um, but yeah it was great and that the great thing about traveling is, is, is speaking with people eating their food uh, traveling in their metros um, totally love that yeah. yeah okay well i'll do the last thing on here is going to be a bowl of food <laughs> <laughs> so we've got we've got uh nassau here flying around uh, i think we're going to need i mean this is full this is pretty much sums up your career it is, yeah <laughs> um and uh what, i'm just trying to think i'm just going uh i'm just going to make that come around like this and then i think we need a satellite don't we because we I, rely yeah, on all that we have to yeah. i'm not brilliant on how satellites look but anyway i'll uh i think it goes like that so we've got a bit of solar solar panels and um uh, i can't think of anything else what i will do is uh, because it's, i have to bring this back to an art tutorial i'm just going to show you this really cool um, technology that allows me to do this artwork uh, to look similar to your uh, previous logo so I don't want to I don't want to overtake the talent of the other artist artists they were kids weren't they that did this so just gonna show yeah. you how they had oh, I think I need to make that darker hold on a second so they had this beautiful effect of uh, making it kind of three-dimensional. Does that make sense? So I'm wow. just going to show you how they do that. It's quite fun. It's a tiny, tiny little, little detail. Um, and I won't spend too long on it because it's very important that we get your message across. And I'm thinking while I'm drawing this, I think, is there anything else <laughs> that you can tell us um, um, I think we're pretty much there and I think the next thing I want to do is get you to do uh, a drawing and <laughs> I have uh, I'm, I'm hoping you got your pen and paper ready 
and we are going to draw. Did we talk about what, what you wanted to draw? It was um, something to do with Africa, because that's obviously your, your um, where your passions lie. Africa, nature Refu maybe. Nature, um, okay, mm -hmm. lovely. All right, so I am going to, I will email that to you when I've finished all the outlines. Let's, okay, thank you. let's get to the real business of drawing. <laughs> um, so pen and paper and we are going to draw a baobab tree and it's got such a distinctive African look about it because I don't think there's anything in the world quite like that so we're just going to do yeah. a cloud it looks like a cloud okay and I need you and I hope you're there is a little bit of a delay so we're mm -hmm. literally doing a couple of clouds next to each other and we're going to do a smaller one i think you were you did graphic design didn't you um i've been teaching about it but i'm not qualified <laughs> i don't have a degree in it or something like that yeah okay so but you do you do have a, a love for art is that correct <laughs> I, do, I do okay brilliant well um this is going to be a masterpiece all right now you this is very simple but i want you just to follow a triangle pointing downwards does that make sense mm -hmm. and then we're going to do some more and they're all going to kind of point towards the center does that i hope that's easy to follow so we've got little triangles pointing down and then at the very edge up here i just want you to go straight like that and like that and then you have done the branches it's not that difficult is it oh. <laughs> <laughs> i'm impressed <laughs> I'm going to cheat. I'm going to shrink that down a little bit. Because the beauty of a baobab tree is that, of course, it stores water. And they've had a huge drought in, uh, in I think it's Botswana, Kenya. Uh, really tragic. A lot of wildlife suffered. Mm -hmm. Okay. I'm actually wearing a, a, a Kenyan scarf. I think they're called blankets. I'm not sure. I better better um, stop talking because I don't know. But the colors are beautiful. Um, okay. And now we're going to have fun and we're going to draw our giraffe. <laughs> okay. And the giraffes are quite tricky. So let's have a go. And he's reaching up. So we know the giraffes have this kind of weird... Uh, horns that they use when they're showing mm -hmm. off and fighting and this one is trying to reach the tree and then of course those uh, stunningly long necks I'm gonna put a little ear there and then we're gonna go the long necks but widen it a bit for the shoulders Okay, what I love about giraffes, because I live in Johannesburg, and if you if you watch how lions walk around giraffes, they don't mess with giraffes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they do not bother with them. They've got a kick that it will kill them. Okay, I'm keeping this very simple. Again, long legs, and then back up to the the shoulder okay little tail and because this is an art lesson Cohen we need to remember that they have two legs so we're going to put one behind that <laughs> <laughs> and I just want everyone to know that because people can write in and, and things like that but there is a donation button to all these projects that you're working on um, and obviously share the videos please 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 share this video all the links all the information and um, yeah just have 
have fun drawing and we're just going to do the the what do you think's missing Cohen on a giraffe what's so distinctive about them <laughs> um <laughs> I'm gonna sh I'm gonna I'm gonna put you out of your misery. <laughs> We're gonna color in the little patches, that extraordinary camouflage they have. Right. So while I'm scribbling that in, we do want to see your drawing, so don't hide it. And. Should we have a sort of a climate change, um, change action theme? I think maybe we'll have him saying something very, very simple. Really, really, really simple. But uh, I think we all want to say this to you, Cohen. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> what an inspiration. I, I think um, I've looked at your all your media coverage and i just was so inspired so uh, such a pleasure having you on the on the art show let's see your work <laughs> do i need to keep talking you've gone very quiet when you're drawing you are very quiet <laughs> yeah I'm trying to make sure i'm not making a mess <laughs> Is this the, was this very cruel of me to put you on the spot like this? <laughs> this is great. So when you think, uh, you, will you do yeah. art, do you do art lessons uh, online? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to put you on the spot. <laughs> I bet it's going to be good. I don't think you do anything without it being amazing. Okay, let's let's have a look. <laughs> I just give it a try, right? Oh wow! <laughs> <laughs> that is super. You did it. I actually I did uh, push you to uh, a new level, a higher level than what I normally do for my <laughs> my guests. Sorry about I that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> so, so thank you so much yeah you're welcome and thank you and please don't hang up because I always love to have a chat afterwards and uh, mm -hmm. thank you everyone and please donate and get involved and plant a tree anything else you'd like to say Cohen? I think the only thing what remains me to do is, is really thank you for this this was extraordinary um, <laughs> I will have a chat with my boy with my son about giraffe <laughs> i'm sure that he will overrule me <laughs> and drawing an, a, a better version of that yeah so thank you so much for this wonderful oh thank you so much and uh yes kids are never told that they're bad at art so they believe that's the most important thing okay that is true. thank yeah. you and um hopefully you'll come back one day Take care. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Bye -bye. everyone. Goodbye.